Now then YouTube, welcome back to my channel, my name is Kurt, and today is another mail day video. Don't know how you feel about these, yeah. Anyway, let's get into this one, this came from Greece, from Card Market. So we've got Google Links card there. <laughs> Lots of Rex Raptors. <laughs> Funny. Useful, I guess. We have a Super Soldier Synthesis, so yeah, I am building a Blackluster Soldier deck. It is taking some time though. So two of those. Got a re two Return of the Zombies, which completes my playset. Been needing to pick up another one of these for my Mayakashi deck, so I can uh, run that. As well as a second copy of Darky the Graceful Mayakashi. You need this card from Mayakashi because every time you synchro summon a Mayakashi, which is what they primarily do, this card comes back from the graveyard and then you can go and synchro again up the ladder, basically. Got a Jet Synchron because I didn't have one, unbelievably. Two Charging Gaia the Fierce Knights. This is for the Black Luster Soldier deck. So I'll put those there. It's a little section. Next section. have a red eye slash dragon always been meaning to get this guy but his price has been pretty high because of the legendary duelists set short prints but now with the legendary duelist season one they're easy to pick up and fairly cheap got two of those a little bit of a title move there for that second one got relinquish fusion same again short prints from ancient millennium nice to get a second copy of this red eyes darkness dragon common Red Eyes Insight, surprisingly I didn't have those, and there should be another Return of the Red Eyes somewhere as well. Red Eyes was my Duel Links deck, so I wanted to at least have them in real life as well. Okay, I didn't order that, but that's been used as protection. Sorry, Dino Wrestler. <laughs> so yeah, there's the extra Return of the Red Eyes. We've got Fallen of Albaz, this is one of the cards we didn't pull, obviously, because it's a secret rare from Rise of the Duelist, so collection filler. Plus, uh, don't you need this guy to fusion summon the Titanic lad? I think people just dump that in the graveyard, though, with the meta decks. But got one of those. Got Artillery Catapult Turtle. I probably need another two of these for the Gaia deck. Let's come out in Rise of the Duelist. You contribute one monster special summon one Gaia the Fierce Knight monster or one level 5 dragon monster from your hand or deck. Pretty cool effect. And the reason for this singles pickup is I had to pick up three of these Ice Dragon's Prison Traps from Rise of the Duelist. Target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon it to your field, but its effects are negated, then you can banish one monster from both players' fields that have the same type as each other. So I'm thinking, use this in Zombie World, because everything's a zombie. Maybe get some banish. More banishing. <laughs> uh, got Win the Wind Channeler. An ultra rare we didn't pick up from Rise of the Duelist. And some Dogmatica cards we got. Aid in the Enlightened. And another Aid in the Enlightened, completing the playset. Uh, Inferno Bull Knight Oliver. Melfi Catty. Didn't pull any cats in the uh, Rise of the Duelist box, but I'll check it out. Link will be in the description. I was playing this deck last night on Dueling Nexus, and it's pretty fun, you know, it's actually pretty fun to use because these are just special summon from the hand at the end phase, all the Melfis. Got a first Dark Lord and Ret Time Reviver Emitter. Picked up a place out of these because I know they'll be useful at some point. Being a tuner, level 2, fairy. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can target one face and monster on each field, change them to face down position. And if you do special summon this card, that's got to be annoying. And a free summon. But banish it when it leaves the field. Cool. So those, that was my single pickup, uh, recent haul from Card Market. <laughs> the fused place that I died on last show. As a, I believe this from was from Hobby Hobby Games in Greece. So they're a trusted seller. This came very fast to say it was an international purchase. So yeah, awesome. Stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.